We don't suppress speech. The left does because if truth is allowed out, there is no left. The it's, left. It's a brilliant point. Oh, it, it, <laughs> it's an absurd point. Right, left and right politics are evolutionary ad adaptations that have enabled people to survive difficult circumstances and to reproduce. And in certain situations, a left-wing egalitarian approach of doing new innovative things and having more openness to strangers is more adaptive. And in other circumstances, a more hierarchical approach that is more suspicious of new things, more suspicious of strangers, more suspicious of contagion will be more adaptive. Uh, this idea that if the truth were allowed out, there would be no left politics is absolutely absurd, but it sounds so profound. This is what, what gurus and pundits do. They say things that sound amazing, that just like, whoa, blow your mind. But upon examination, these points are ridiculous. Right? That They don't hold up to examination, but they sound incredible. Now, but I cloned his right. voice. And uh, I mean, this is kind of like a broader discussion about AI. Um, I, I think AI, I, I'm, I'm not afraid of like killer robots, but I am, I do think that AI is going to just annihilate culture and thinking. <laughs> AI is just going to annihilate culture. It sounds amazing. It's like, wow, wow. AI is just going to annihilate culture, but it's absolutely absurd. Chat says, look, I think Richard would agree with your critique that he is grandiose, delusional, and narcissistic. I think he's hilarious and entertaining. I agree. Richard is hilarious. He is entertaining. And and, you know, if we talk more about the Richard Spencer space where, you know, one thing, I guess he has a, a tendency maybe to use people up and then spit them out to kind of like, you know, break his way, infiltrate into organizations, make himself useful, get a whole bunch of information, the network connections, and then backstab people. So it could be something personal where she's like friends with or knows someone that uh, she did this to uh, besides and she got very upset at me when I called like conspiracy theory in my term, but I just mean like she thinks that there's a greater conspiracy around Mike Benz where he might be this larger nefarious character currently. So not just, uh, God forbid, uh, the fact that he used to be frame games and uh, that that should damage his career. Uh, but, uh, you know, she thinks that she might go on to uncover, uh, you, you know, some like criminal criminal like she's on, um, you know, but I don't know anything more than that if, if your assessment if you would agree that for whatever reason she thinks that like she's going to break some sort of criminal activity and bring him down